Okay, guys, remember a couple days ago, I declared that Kemba Walker was coming to Boston. I said, welcome to Boston, Kemba Walker, closing, finalizing, it's done deal to Boston. And I said that before all the reports came out that, yes, indeed. Okay, at the time, it was just a trickle. And I said, I knew that Kemba Walker was going to, the reason he was going to choose Boston, certainly, was because it was Kyrie Irving's team. Kyrie Irving drafted number one. Kemba Walker drafted ninth or 11th or something in that 2011 draft. Isaiah Thomas drafted last in that draft. Okay, he knows Isaiah Thomas can succeed there. He knows he can succeed there. And he knows he can outshine Kyrie Irving while winning at the same time. It's an absolutely perfect fit. So I'll go ahead and declare this right now. Kawhi Leonard going to the Lakers. If I'm wrong about it, it's the first time I'm wrong about something in quite a while. And so why not? I'll be wrong about this. So Kawhi Leonard, why is he going to the Lakers? Here's this NBA, here's this Lakers insider who told us that told us the day that Al Horford made clear that he was not coming back to Boston. This guy said Al Horford's going to the 76ers, and I still believe that to be the case. But right now he's saying it's a two-team race between the Raptors and the Lakers. And I'll go one step further and say Kawhi Leonard is going to go with the Lakers. And remember, um, Gordon Hayward gave the Jazz the last meeting when he was a free agent and yet he had no intention of ever going back there it was just a formality okay so the last meeting he held was in los angeles or san diego with the jazz and it was all just bs and he had his heart set on going to boston before his whole process and tour of miami ever started okay so just because Kawhi leonard gives the the raptors the last meeting it means absolutely nothing and it will be more of a for formality more of a goodbye okay if he was really dead set on the raptors he wouldn't be taking all these meetings and so with lebron and oh yeah so what this NBA, what this lakers insider is saying is that Kawhi's camp val value the loyalty the lakers have shown to their star players okay you think about kobe bryant being right there with everything and Magic Johnson being right there with everything and LeBron James being so empowered with the Lakers. And then you look at how the Clippers treated Blake Griffin, especially the Blake Griffin thing. Okay. Kawhi Leonard looks at that and he just looks at the fact that the Clippers front office is white in part. So he's maybe already got a distrust there, but racial issues whether those are real or not uh he does not trust the clippers and he also uh you know so magic johnson so there's all these reports that Kawhi requested that magic johnson and genie bus be at the meeting when he goes to meet with the lakers in the next couple of days whenever it is and then the plan is to have anthony davis and lebron who are on the set of space jam 2 to also show up at the meeting However, one holdup with this plan is that Magic Johnson, for some reason, is not allowed to attend these recruiting meetings because he's not an official member of the Lakers. Either that or he's still being punished for tampering in the past. I don't really know. Another factor is uh, Lonzo Ball wore the number two, which is Kawhi Leonard's number. And just as LeBron James gave up 23 to Anthony Davis to continue wearing his old number, you know, uh, with Lonzo Ball being absent, Kawhi Leonard gets to wear his number two. Another thing is his uncle Dennis has been in touch with uh, Magic Johnson and maybe Kobe Bryant for a while now. And so with Uncle Dennis being in touch with Magic Johnson for so long now, and then Kawhi Leonard requesting that Magic Johnson be at the meeting. Magic Johnson, a black guy too, FYI, just throwing that out there. Uh, you know, it may not very well be a request that's out of the blue coming from Kawhi. It may very well be. Obviously, he's talking with his uncle the whole time about the uncle's discussions with Magic Johnson and how it could work on the Lakers. And Kawhi Leonard, uh, I do believe, you saw how comfortable he was at the parade, uh, speaking to the public, speaking to millions of play of fans and uh even making fun of his own laugh up on that stage and uh as the reigning king of the nba right now Kawhi leonard 
he doesn't have to worry about getting, uh, you know, getting secondhand treatment from LeBron James or Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis knows that he better take a backseat to Kawhi. And even LeBron arguably knows that. And so Kawhi Leonard doesn't have to worry about LeBron James and his rings outshining him or relegating him to, you know, a Kevin Love role or something like that. And he doesn't have to worry about Anthony Davis trying to pretend that he's the better player, even though he may very well be. We will see. Um, So I just made a video earlier today saying that the Lakers are more likely to miss the playoffs than win a championship. This development of Kawhi Leonard who in my mind is going to the Lakers. It's already a done deal. Uh, it, it, it certainly threatens my earlier video today if this indeed goes through, but I still say that they don't have any depth at all. They don't even have a starting five. You're not going to have Kyle Kuzma being the fourth option when his only skill is scoring. So if his only skill is scoring and he's the fourth option, then maybe they're going to try to trade him. And maybe that's a way they can shore up their depth. But it's going to be a little awkward. And there's so much money floating around there, guys, that I don't think there's a ton of players looking to take a big pay cut to sign with the Lakers for a minimum contract when every single team has so many millions of dollars in space. So we will see how they put this together. But like I said, last year when LeBron James put together his roster, he had a lot of options and he never made any good choices. And Kawhi Leonard doesn't know anything about putting together a team either, and neither does Anthony Davis, and neither does Rich Paul. If anything, LeBron James and Rich Paul have been shown to be total frauds at putting together a basketball team, fleshing out the roster. So you got to give LeBron credit, if this goes through, for getting three stars on the same team, but three stars who all have major injury concerns, and LeBron getting older and no clear pecking order, and two guys in Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis who don't make anybody else better, and LeBron James who pretty much stopped playing defense a long time ago, plus you got to worry about Kawhi Leonard being fat and happy after restoring his reputation and winning a championship. How hungry is he going to be once he's eating grapes out of the hands of supermodels in hot tubs? Uh, We saw how that affected LeBron, and it wasn't a good thing and Anthony Davis as well. These guys are going to be superstars all summer. And what's their motivation going to be? And uh, Kawhi Leonard, he's still going to need his load management. LeBron's going to need his load management, and Anthony Davis in all likelihood is going to need his load management. And even if they go up 15, 20 points in games, their bench can just as easily give those leads up very, very quickly. So... We will see how this all gets put together, but it's certainly going to be entertaining. And also on the Lakers, Kawhi Leonard would not need to be talking to the media all the time if he didn't want to. He can just not only arguably be the alpha on that team, the number one scorer. I think LeBron James at this stage will take a deferential role, perhaps to both of them, perhaps to both Kawhi and Anthony Davis. So Kawhi can be the number one on the court or at least second to nobody on the court. And then off the court, he doesn't really have to talk much. LeBron James can do the talking. Anthony Davis can if he wants to, and Kawhi can speak when he wants to. And Kawhi Leonard now, arguably much more confident in front of the media, having won that championship in Toronto as the guy, not a guy with Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, and Tony Parker on that team. So Kawhi Leonard's not paranoid about the media anymore. And remember, he did request to be traded to the Lakers just last year. Shouldn't come as too much of a shocker that just like Anthony Davis, the guys who request the trade continue to request it and end up on the Lakers. Very, very interesting, guys. Get your uh, popcorn ready. Kyle Kuzma, in my opinion, you should pack your bags because the uh, Lakers are going to be desperate to uh to fill in some holes and a a score first power forward who doesn't play defense is not a hole in this roster they need a center more than that so anyway guys let me know what you think and i'll see you soon peace